a Razer keyboard. And today, I'm gonna upgrade it. So Razer sent me this huge box of stuff and wanted me to mod one of their keyboards. Got my knife. I wonder what's in here. Wow, this thing's full of stuff. It's filled to the brim. We've got the Huntsman V2 10 keyless. And there's also this big chungus. The Huntsman V2 analog edition. The options are endless. And the mini. Fastest gaming keyboards on the market. It's got a bunch of keycaps too. This one comes with a coil cable. There's also pink and green. And white. Phantom keycaps. Look at everything. We've got the Razer Huntsman Mini. The smallest of the bunch. Look how tiny it is. It's also the cutest. I think I know which one I'm gonna upgrade. The Mini! Let's start by taking this thing apart. The Mini already comes with PBT shine through keycaps, but I think I can snazz up this keyboard quite a bit. It's great out of the box for gaming. But for sound, I plan on doing some strange mods to this keyboard since the switches aren't ordinary ones. They're the Razer optical switches. Now let's prep it for painting. So for the drawing, I'm going to paint this snakey snake. That's right, snake. Not snake, snake. It's part of a conservation project that Razor is doing to try and save one million trees. Basically, for every piece of snakey snake merch that Razor sells, they donate to save 10 trees. I think this is a super cool movement that has a positive impact on the world. They're so close to meeting their funding goal, so if you're interested, you can pick up some of your own snakey snake merch here. What is painting on plastic without gesso? Remember that big tub of gesso? It's back with a vengeance. Gotta mix my own colors for this one. It's so satisfying. I love it when the colors come out as planned. And even if they don't, it's always fixable. Painting time! It turns out that tongue is just sticking out of the wrong place. That makes no sense. The colors ended up looking really good and I wish I placed the snake a bit more to the left. It's very right side heavy right now and it's bleeding into the kick up feet. That tongue is back to spite me. Good thing I can just erase it in double quotations. It's still awkward so I ended up scraping it away later. White outlines are the best. It really makes the snake pop. Blue tape is the savior of any artwork and it's clear coat time. But little did I know this would make me regret it later. While that's drying, we have a word from our sponsor, Razer. Let's talk about the different size keyboards that they have to offer. We've got this one, the Razer Huntsman V2. Look how big it is. This is a full size keyboard and it's the most keyboard real estate you can ever get on a keyboard. It's got a dial for volume, three media keys, and a number pad. This is best for those who don't mind using a lot of their desk space for their keyboard. And if you're inputting numbers a lot, you're gonna need a numpad. But the best part is this, the plush leatherette wrist wrist. Mmm, so soft. Woo! Inside it is also sound dampening foam for a better sounding experience. These are their optical linear silent switches. Don't make any noise. It's also available in purple clicky so you can decide whichever you like more and go with that. There's also this keyboard, which is a Huntsman V2, but it's analog. It lets you control all the actuation points of your keyboard. So if you're an intense gamer, you gotta consider that one. But am I an intense gamer? Yes! You can set custom actuation, dual actuation, and you can use the switches just like how you would with a controller with analog movement. And it sounds like this. The dial's a bit different too. 
but we've got media keys and a numpad. We've got the Huntsman V210 keyless keyboard. It doesn't have a numpad, which means you save a lot more desk space using it. You get all the function of a full-size keyboard, but none of the space of a numpad. Also comes with a plush wrist rest as well, but this one's not magnetic. The Huntsman V210 keyless is available in purple clickies or with the silent linear red switches that we looked at before. Inside the keyboard, it also comes with sound dampening foam. It also has a detachable cable. Right here, it's braided, but I can replace this with whatever I want to make it look cool. Both of these keyboards, the V210 keyless and the V2, both have 8,000 hertz polling rate, which makes them some of the fastest keyboards available in the market today for gaming. And who can forget about RGB? We're gamers, right? All the keyboards in the Huntsman lineup come with completely customizable RGB using their Razer Chroma software, and there are literally millions of color combinations you can pick from. 16.8 million to be exact. We've got the Razer Huntsman Mini, the smallest of the bunch. Look how tiny it is. There's no function row, no numpad, no home keys or arrow keys, but you can access those all on another layer. It has the newest generation of optical switches, which is better for gamers. And being a terrible gamer that I am, I'm really leaning towards this one. <sighs> Back to the keyboard. It's time to sound dampen this thing with silicone, my favorite part. Pouring time! Razor stabilizers are a bit different, but do not fear, they are still lubable. They're also easy to take off and the orientation does matter when you put them back in. These are the funnest switches to lube. You don't even have to take them apart. Go Razor. These switches come pre-lubed out of the box for a smooth gaming experience. We're just putting on an extra layer for more oomph. Yeah. Surprisingly, this helps the sound immensely. It sounds so good. Finally, it's time to close it up and figure out what keycaps we're going to use. I can't wait to hear the finished product at the end, and why are there so many screws in this darn keyboard? For the keycaps, we have all of these options. I'm thinking something sleek and stealthy so people don't think that I'm a super gamer, like those phantom keycaps, and they actually look really cool with the RGB on. Now for the finishing touches. You know how topographic designs are becoming all the rage? I've noticed that. It looks so cool. Razor, you should definitely come up with some topo keycaps, but if not, I'm gonna make my own right now. Here it is, before and after. It looks awesome. Check out the Razer Huntsman V2, V210 keyless, and Huntsman Mini in the links in the description down below. No matter what form factor you want, Razer's got you covered with the fastest optical keyboards on the market.